Hey, what's going on guys? So Battlefield 5 is out now. If you have the Deluxe Edition or Origin Access Premier, you're able to play the game for a few days before the official launch. Before I start, let me say, I do enjoy the game, but I feel like the game has a lot of issues that kill the immersiveness of the game and, and my biggest issue with the game so far is the lack of hangers or vehicle respawns and the lack of the designs for the maps. I mean, what happened to the hangars for planes and battlefield games? Remember Battlefield 1942, Battlefield 2 or 3 and 4, where you had to run to a chopper or an airplane and then fly away? Well, in Battlefield 5 you don't have that, and to me it is just lazy design. If you want an immersive game, they will give me these moments and even let, let the enemy attack our hangar. But you don't get things like that in Battlefield 5 and that is really sad. Instead you just get a spawn point on the map which you can deploy and you're automatically in the airplane and I for one I don't like the design of that. I played almost every Battlefield game that was Battlefield 1942, Battlefield 2, 3 and 4. I didn't play Battlefield 1 but I know for a fact Battlefield 1 had the same options. You, you just press a button and you're automatically in, in, a, in, in an airplane and stuff like that and it's just not a Battlefield game in my opinion. I might be the only one that has an issue with this but... I just felt like I needed to say it. Moving on the map. The maps are okay. I do like Rotterdam and Twisted Steel but the others are nothing too fancy. But if I could complain about one map in particular it would be Hamada. The map feels empty. It is a huge map with no vehicles. There are perhaps one or one and a half tanks on a battlefield and that's it. When they first announced the map, I thought we would get a huge ass map with epic tank battles. What we got instead is a huge ass empty map with no tanks. And here's a question for you. Can you name a map in Battlefield 5 that has a lot of armored vehicles in it? The most you can see are three or maybe four and then a couple of jeeps. But yeah, anyways. I get that they want to show you some other stories of the war, but I feel like most of the Battlefield players, including myself, thought we would get maps like El Alamein, Operation Market Garden, Omaha Beach and so on. Those were iconic maps and not to include them is a big mistake in my opinion. They improved a lot of things about the gameplay, they improved the sounds quite a bit but I still feel like some sounds are off. Especially the pistol sounds are very low and it's hard for me to pinpoint where exactly I'm being shot from. And the 3D handphone option is not really helping much. Reviving takes too long and if you want other classes except the medics to be able to revive people then the time to revive should be lower. By the way, I'm not a fan of this. I still prefer the way Battlefield 2 was with a lot more specific roles but yeah, that's just me. Because no one is going to revive someone for 5 seconds while they are being shot at and get killed in the process. The process of reviving just takes too long and unless you're playing with friends, don't expect people to revive you. It feels like there is something wrong about the time to die and I saw a lot of people complaining about it and I'm thankful I'm not alone with this. It does feel kind of strange and I do feel a lot of times that I was not supposed to die in that particular fight but but yeah time will tell there might be some problems with the netcode and what what not but we will we will have to wait and see. I'm not going to talk about weapon balance because weapon balance is another story and I won't go into it it's the early release and they're usually very quick to patch these things. But yeah, like I said, it's an early release and we'll just have to wait for some patches and some buffs and some nurse to guns and eventually these are gonna get balanced out. Anyways, so far I'm having a love and hate relationship with the game. I hope it's going to improve. We'll have to wait and see. I'm honestly hoping we're gonna get some more maps with more vehicles, with more more tanks, more airplanes and a lot more battlefield moments. But on the other hand, I do enjoy the infantry fights and yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna keep on playing the game and see where things are going. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment down below and let me know what you guys think about the game so far. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.